Hello folks. Today we're going to demonstrate a very quick application showing how to use a barcode reader to decide if a customer is uh, shipping the correct product to their customer based on a barcode that's on the shipping label and a barcode that is on the product. So we're going to use for this example Red Lion's Data Station Plus based product here, the Red Box. They've got a pulse power supply that's powering this and we're going to use uh, this uh, barcode scanner from a company called WASP that is a uh, RS-232 based barcode. So if we take this off the base here and you see I've got it turned on here. And if we come over to some paperwork here, what the customer actually has is either a shipping label here and the product number here that's on the product. We've got two different versions right here. Uh, this is the part number here and this is a different part number that is on the shipping label. I also have some other sheets of paper of other code 39 based uh, codes that I've used. So the data station product, the red box, has a crossover cable going into my laptop here and I'm looking at the particular web page for that particular product and you can see on the web page I've got some scanner information and so forth here. So if I go ahead and scan one of the barcodes this one right here you'll see that the screen shows the first scan that exact number if I scan that one again as if it was on the product itself there it fills in and you see that we get a match and that it's yes and that the number shows up correctly for a period of time now this customer is going to use right here is going to be one of the plant floor marquees that's connected to this that'll show up on a display out there in the plant floor. So if the customer goes and grabs another barcode, for instance, let's say this one right here, you'll see that the first scan shows number one, two, three, whatever through nine, zero. If I do that number again, the second scan matches and therefore that's a good scan and that's good. Now let's pretend the customer in this time happens to have this number, whoops, not that one, this number right here as the first scan. You see the first scan there is 120. And then let's pretend that over here, this is the actual one that's on their product. It's a different number, so you can see how we have a no match, and there's a red square that was there and then disappears after five seconds, which will show up on the, on the uh, platform marquee. Now you can see here on this particular label, that there's lots of other barcodes that are not the package or product ID number. So if the customer was to scan or the shipping guy was to scan for instance the PO number here, you'll see, let me go back, I'll scan this one correct. Watch what happens to the screen. That's an invalid barcode so that is not the correct number nor is the quantity number which is five characters or some of these other ones that are on here. It has to be a 10 barcode like that that's correct to give it a complete match. So if I go through and scan some of these other numbers like, let's see here. There's one that's correct. If I scan a different one, you'll see it's not a match. But if I scan that one again, do it twice, that's a match. If I scan this one, which has alphanumeric, it's only got seven characters, that's not a valid number. And this one here has got 15, it's not valid. Even though if I did it twice, it's not a valid number. So it's got to be two of the correct numbers to match for it to give a correct reading. Just a very simple application in uh, Red Lion's Crimson 3.0 software on how to do this and the demo. Consult your local uh, automated Dynamics uh, representative or a red line guy for more information on this uh, shortly. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.